Hi guys, I will show you how to make your own homemade Barbie dresses out of, as you can see, there are 12 colors slash sticks of clay, and that's what our, we are going to be using with the Barbie and other things. So, you might need a ponytail for your Barbie so it doesn't get in the way, and you're going to need something to design your dress with. So, you undress your Barbie. So, when you do this cover, you uh, roll it up and on the Now, we'll put this on. Um, I have undressed my Barbie. Now, I will take my colors that I like. And also, let me say this. You can get these 12 colors that are sticks of clay at Dollar Tree in aisle 7. You will see them all the way on your left, down by the bottom, but not the very last thing. It's by the glitter and stuff. I think you would know where I'm talking about. So, I, and this is, that is one by, that is the one in Sanford by the pharm, pharmacy aid, the right aid, not pharmacy aid, but the right aid. So, I want to pick my color, and I am going to pick, um, so I have a red, dark green, light pink, light blue, light orange, dark blue, yellow, light green, white, black, brown and purple so I want to pick my dark green because I have the monster high doll and you can and you can match it up with her hair see this matches great with these little lines of like blue bluish greenish Matches with this. And then I, I want to pick black because most of it is black. So, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to say that the sticks look like this, and that is great because we are going to need the sticks like that. So, the colors that you, you don't new, need. You can put them in a little, you can stack them up, and then stick them to the side. And I want to show you something that I have made myself for this bar, for this Monster High Barbie doll. I have made this the same as the other one that it came with. Because I love to knit and crochet and stuff. And because that's a tradition in our family. And and this was very easy. All you need to do is go up with the needle. And go down, go up, go down, go up, go down in tiny, tiny spots. So I'm going to stick this to the side. And you can get thread. I got that thread from Walmart or some other place. I forgot what it was called. But there are stores, you know, if you know stores that have thread, that if you know stores that have thread that is mixed up with different colors, then get that. Because if you're going to copy me, with these two color with these two colors then you need like this then you will need sparkly thread and or you can just stick sparkles on that with, with um spray glue there there is spray glue invented and then i i had a little gold in there 
see that little bit of gold? Now I'm gonna use red. I had gold in there, so and at the top, and I did it like this. And I did it long at the bottom and short at the front. And these two little thingies. So, what you would do is, if you want to, you can start with the black. Because if you have the same Barbie doll, then you will start with the black. Because that is the color of most of her hair. So what you do is you pinch it. Pinch it and make it flat, but not all the way. Pinch it all the way down a few times. Now we will use red. So. If there's a different, if there's a little different colors in there, then you can put those sides of um, different colors in the inside to where people can see it. Because this is, this will be a great dress that I will show you how to make with modeling clay. And as you can see, I'm... This is, as you can see, this is not very hard. See this side, it has some different colors in there. And this side, don't. So I'm going to put this side that don't have different colors in there on the outside. So if there's like little cracks, then I would prefer that you get a little water and slide it onto the cracks because then don't get too much. Just get, just like if you have a little, those little thing, you know those little things that have the meat inside of them? When, when you're finished with that, you can tell your mom not to throw, you can tell your mom or dad or any, anybody not to throw them away so you can use them for water and all you need is like, Probably less than three ounces of water because you barely even need any. Because you only need one dip, then slide it on there, one dip, and slide it on the other side if you have any cracks. But I'm not going to use that for today because I don't want it to get too soggy if I use too much. Make sure you don't get, make sure you don't use too much because. It'll get soggy. So. This is how a girl looks like. Then it'll look like this. If you want, you should make it. You should make it like you know wider. raise her arms and if you need to and it, if your Barbie doll Barbie doll's hair gets in the way then if you need to take a ponytail or something that's on her that can fit her hair and make it stay up the whole time you are making your dress so you just put that in there. I'm using her thing That's, that was on her. Like some Barbie doll's hair is, you know, too thick. So, you. Just a second. So it's hard to get around. Hmm. I'm just going to use a ponytail. No. You know what? I'm going to use one of these clips. And you can get these claw clips for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, you raise her arms like this, and she'll stand like this with no shoes on. Then you take your clay, modeling clay, and wrap, <coughs> and wrap it around her so then you'll 
not squeeze your green. Squeeze your green. And make it flat like you did the black. Now. I have no different color. Alright, girls. What? I have no different colors. What? What? <sighs> no different colors in this. No, I'm just gonna flatten this. Mama, out. I was going at Brianna's house. I'm gonna flatten it out. Get it the black. Then I will wrap it around her like I did the black. Then you can use one more color, like pink, to go around her. Other, other places that she needs it, and then just keep doing and it. And then you have your dress. And if you want it longer, just use all the colors if you need to. Bye bye.